praise the lord praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters let us read this word of god that is from proverbs 30 verse 17 30 verse 17 we read like this the eye that mocks a father and scorns to obey a mother will be pecked out by the ravens of the valley and eaten by the vultures such a strong words the eye that mocks a father and scorns to obey a mother will be pecked out by the ravens any children who insult mocks hurt their father and mother their spiritual eyesight will be lost they will not be able to understand what is right and wrong they will lose the vision spiritual vision it may not be talking about physically you are going to lose the eyesight but it's mostly about spiritual eyesight you can see so many children youngsters they don't see what is right and wrong because they never obeyed and respected their parents even if you try to convince them they will be in different ideology and different different world they won't understand what is right and wrong even if you tell them what you're doing is wrong 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 they will never understand because they never respected and honor their father and mother their eyesight the vision of knowledge and wisdom is taken away is lost it is taken away by the evil one because they did disrespected their father and mother any child who disrespect their mother and father will go through the same kind of experience you will be trapped one day and you will never realize that you are trapped and still you will feel you are free and you have all the freedom but the truth is you are not free therefore my dear brothers and sisters this is a very powerful word of god let's examine our conscience and see there are occasions we have insulted mocked insulted our parents but never repented and never said sorry in front of them so we have lost the vision vision of wisdom knowledge understanding right and truth uh, right and wrong the decision decision to take what is right and wrong this capacity is taken away from us let's beg for forgiveness and pardon from the lord for these